Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Electro and Arts. I just want to make you a quick tutorial on how to use OBS, which is Open Broadcast Software. This is used for live streaming, all kinds of different uh, things, whatever you want to live stream, I guess. Um, this is a very good alternative to premium Twitch. It works out pretty good. Um, the only thing I don't like is that you have to change the monitor setting and it uses like a little bit less good quality color for your monitor in order to capture minecraft i don't know about other games but minecraft you have to change the settings and before i show you stuff to do i'm going to show you how to change the settings but i'm not going to change them in this video because i found out the hard way that it'll mess up my video so you're going to go to screen resolution, you're going to click on advanced settings, whichever monitor you decide to uh, do it on. I, th I believe it changes it for both though, so just click on whatever. And you're going to want to put it on high color and you're going to click apply. Now I don't know why it makes you do that, but it does. So we're going to leave it at the true color so that I can actually record and show you guys. So you're going to go to your Chrome, hopefully if you use Chrome, and you're going to type in OBS, and that'll bring you to Open Broadcast Software, obsproject.com. You're going to go to Download, and depending, you're going to click on, my suggestion is click on this one, because if you it downloads both 32 and 64-bit, so then you don't have to worry about if you d accidentally download 32 when you have 64 or vice versa and if you have 64 you want to get the best out of it so download that it'll download both of them go into the 64 bit folder install it and then you'll get this so then you're gonna open it up I gotta drag mine over here real quick <clears throat> and you're gonna be presented with this screen you're not gonna have any scenes or sources so then you're going to go to settings, language, English, uh, setting profile, I didn't mess with that, encoding, if you have a good upload speed then put your quality all the way up to 10, put your bitrate to around 1000 to 1200, codec AAC which is that high quality crisp audio, um, bitrate, turn it up if you have good, better uh, upload speed, I have terrible so mine has to be kind of low. Broadcast settings, live stream, I use Twitch, whichever one of these you guys use, then you can use those. My connection best is to Ashburn, Virginia. If you download a program called JTV Ping down here, this will tell you which one of them is the best one for you, at least for the Justin TV slash Twitch TV. Mine would be Ashburn, Virginia, which is why I have it set to that. So you set it to that. Stream key, if you go to your streamer's site, it should be on there somewhere. For Twitch, you're going to log in. And I'm sorry if you hear these people real quick. I want to get rid of this thing. Sorry. And then Let's mute that and pause that. Get started. You're going to be on the homepage. You're going to go down to click get started over there. And you're going to click on show key right here. This will give you a huge long key around right here, around this area. And you're going to copy that, and you're going to put it right in there. Now, that's obviously like a password. If someone gets a hold of that, they can stream to your thing, and you don't want that. So you're going to put that in there. Um, <clears throat> auto reconnect timeout. If you get disconnected from the internet or server or whatever, that will automatically try to reconnect in that amount of time. Uh, save to file you can choose that if you want dashboard link if you're using twitch this will give you a button while you're streaming right uh, right there actually if you click on that then you'll get an option to go right to your dashboard which is actually very very handy and I'm sure if you use twitch you know what the dashboard is video you can set any size you want um, suggested is 1280 by 720 if you have a good upload connection I don't have that great of one, so I have to lower it a bit. Right here, you can cut your resolution in half for streaming. You can capture it in like this, but then you can cut it half for cut it in half or whatever these choices are for when you're streaming, like when it's going to the site. So that's pretty decent. 
Um, FPS, you can go up to 60 uh, until you get to advanced, which I'll cover in a second. Audio, choose your device. The rest of them, no big deal. If you want to boost your mic volume, you can do so. Advanced, um, you don't do anything in here. I actually checked use higher quality resampling. I just imagine it probably makes the audio a little bit better. Now, I believe, I haven't tried this, but this says allow 61 to 120 FPS entry in video settings. So I'm guessing that's for taking this above 60. And again, if you have a good upload, why not try it? So that's that for the settings. You're going to click OK. And you're going to go over here and you're going to make a new scene. Um, mine is going to be for minecraft so let me actually start minecraft up first actually no you know what i'll do black ops 2 real quick just because minecraft doesn't like to show up on this theme or on this uh, monitor setting if i said black ops i'm sorry minecraft i'm pretty sure i said minecraft though anywho um let's go back to this I've already got one set up, but I'm going to set a new one up for you guys. Scene, um, BO2, click OK. Oh, alright, I guess i got to rename it. BO, Black Ops. Sources, I use Ad Software Capture. That's what I use, so I'll go to BO again. Window Capture, we're going to capture Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Zombies. Inner Window, so you don't get the ugly frame up there like that. And opacity 100, everything else you don't want to mess with, click OK. And if we go to preview stream, there that is. Edit scene. Um, so. Anyway, that's a message from a friend, sorry. If we go to this, if we click on edit scene and then we click on the image, we'll be able to easily resize it to our settings. Mine is at a, a variant of 1280 by 720. It's like scaled down but evenly proportioned. So like my game's running in 1280 by 720, but I scale it down to 540. So it's like perfect. And the reason you're seeing double mouse on the screen, my game, and at the same time it's capturing. Yeah, it's it's mouseception, all right. <laughs> so. That's how you got that. And then when you're done, you're just going to click stop preview and you're going to click start streaming. And I don't want to stream for too long because I don't want my CPU to f poop on itself. So I'll just we'll just go back to preview and we'll pretend we're streaming. And right here you got your um, audio levels. Level you want to broadcast your microphone, your uh, system audio. Um, if you want to play music, you can play that. This is basically, um, when it goes, it, it has levels from bright green to dark red, or like just a regular red, like this color, kind of. Red obviously means you're getting some lag. Green means good, solid connection. Dropped frames, if you get anything above like 0.01%, then you're going to want to change some settings. Mine generally stays between 0 .00 and 0 .01. It's not too bad. Anything above that, you start to get a lot of lag. I've never gotten above that. Maybe I have before, but I don't know. I've gotten lag without that even. So keep the keep the dropped frames below 0, .0 or yeah, 0 .01 or 0, .00. Because if you don't do that, then well, you're going to get a lot of lag in your stream. And people don't want to see lag. They want to see smooth video. Even if your vid video is kind of pixely. If you have to give up some quality to get smooth video like this. Then do it. Because people really, really, really don't want to see choppy video. They really don't. And you want that high quality audio. So if you have to give up some quality, do so. It's a very big factor in people watching your stream. Because you, you, you don't want them to be watching a slideshow of zombies, right? You want, you want them to be watching a smooth gameplay, whether it's pixely or not. I mean, I'm sure somebody would rather watch 240p 
and have it be perfectly smooth than to watch 480p and have it be a, basically a slideshow. So that's that. That's it for the settings. Um, I believe there's nothing else to go over. So that concludes the OBS broadcasting tutorial. And if you have any questions, inbox me, comment. If you would please rate, like it, um, comment if you want. Subscribe, please. That'll help me. And tell your friends about this if they need help. I will have more tutorials. I'll have more gameplay videos. And I'll just have more videos in general in the future. So this is Electrotoxin Arts. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.